And this is for the middleweight Kamikaze title. This man in the blue corner. He has a mixed martial arts record of three wins, zero losses, and zero scores draws. He is from the Reaper squad and is the reigning middleweight champion, ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Octopus Tell. And his opponent in the red corner from Stats Unknown. He is from the dungeon, Anas Monyo. This has got to be one of those fights that, uh, like once again, is, is, is got a potential to be one of the fights of the night. I mean, Anas Munir is an up and coming guy from the dungeon. I really, really like this kid though. He's got some fantastic stand up, great leg kicks, and of course, you know, it's a dungeon, so he's got to be great on the ground as well. He's a nice guy as well, you know, he's always smiling and stuff. Absolutely, and you know, I mean, uh, Kevin Delph on the Reaper squad, undefeated, you know, I mean, uh, Really, he's uh, they come away from France and they haven't come to lose. Expect some fireworks here in this round, yeah. In the, in the last, in Kevin Dell's fight where he won the belt, he had good clinch work, uh, very active from the guard. He won by a triangle. Um, but at Nas, again, from the BJJ, uh, from the dungeon, he's, he's no slouch on the floor at all. But he, he likes to strike. He finds it, he thinks it's exciting to do, you know, it's his style. You look at his footwork there when he gets into those kicks, he really puts his, his waist into it, you know, he steps in and yeah. then, there we go, there we go, we, we <laughs> took the legs away there. Those are heavy kicks. You know, at the moment he seems to be a little bit less explosive at the moment, he's taking his time now, in the last couple of times I saw him see him fight, he's been a bit more, you know, um, adrenaline yep. rush and all that, you know, I think now he's, he's definitely finding his... Good level. left hook there, excellent. I think maybe because he knows there's a bell on the line, taking a very serious, very calm, very controlled.
focused on the fight. You don't you don't hear the crowd when you're there, and sometimes you don't hear the bell. I probably shouldn't have to mention this though, but just for the folks at home that are gonna sit there watching this, how would you score that round there, Mr. Brown? I'd give that to Anaza 10-9. Um, he controlled the stand-up, he got some really good strikes in, low leg kicks. Dell, he got a really good takedown, a double leg, and um, he, he returned to some low kicks, but Naz was more busy and more cleaner, and landed some really good hand strikes himself. I think, I think, uh, I think obviously Dell there is finding a little bit difficult there to keep up with those uh, with those strikes, so I think he might be in a, bit, a little bit of trouble though if he doesn't actually end up securing a takedown or something in the second round. But then again, does he want to have to take it to the ground, you know, because that could just be more trouble for himself. True, Maybe true. Del, has, Del hasn't been exposed to uh, Munir's ground game yet. Maybe we could see a little bit of that in the second round. And we're underway. Second bout here for the middleweight Kamikaze MMA title. Munir with a the jab there answers with a kick does Dell. Dell's trying to move about a bit more but he's still got his back to the cage giving him limited mobility and this automatically gives cage control to Monir which obviously it, it does look good in the judge's eyes the fact that you know he's, that Monir is taking the center of the, of the, of the stage yep. here tonight he's not letting Dell get that takedown he's keeping the distance well so if Dell does go for a shoot he's out of range See the uh, swelling uh, increasing a little bit there of the lead uh, knee of uh, of Dell and now threw Dell down there. I think he's even cut a little bit or something. That might have been from the takedown there. It's no for, it's no definite that that could have been from the kicks, but I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of those. Nice right there by Monier. Del really need, needs to close the distance and try and bully Anaz instead of standing there being, a, being a, a target for him, really. This is reminding me a lot of a Muay Thai fight. Just the fact that these guys, both these guys are, being, are, are quite patient, but when they do, it's like a game of slaps at the moment. And Naz's corner just telling him to, to slow down there, be a bit more calm and patient. There's no rush, they're, they've got co confidence in him that he'll get the win. Dell going for a spin and back fist there, oh, and that's just took under. Another good takedown by Dell. His corner just to stand up. In the guillotine there. That looks pretty tight there. He's actually going to start arching his back soon, this Dell. I think Anaz will be able to handle this situation. He's going for a trip. At least his head's popped out now. And he's going to want to get him standing up. He wants his fight to be on the, on, on the feet here. Dell's on the back foot here. Really looking to grab one of them kicks or clinch, take him down. Well, it's definitely uh, jumping guard here. Becoming a bit of a problem for his mobility. Monier wants him standing up once again. He's not going to play that game right now. Tonight, it's going to be all on the feet. This corner here for that left hook, and Nas delivers perfectly. Dell swinging with over on the right. Checks a low leg kick, returns one. Bit wide with that right hand there. Dell was able to hook, duck under. But Nas has got double unders here. Lifting him back up to the cage. And now he's in control, putting the pressure on. Dell got a good clinch here. And Nas keeping that head up nice and high. Oh, Dell's dragged it down though. You think he's going to try and pull guard here? Nope, just drop down. Yeah. 
And the round. Very nice. Interesting round there. Another round to Anas, in my opinion. He didn't really go there. Oh, absolutely. He was definitely had the most successful amount of strikes there. And, uh, you know, he's damaging that, 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 uh, that leg there of Dell. I mean, I mean, for a guy that's actually having have to leave with his left foot there, I mean, it's going to have some problems putting weight on him. We'll see how it acts up in the, in the third round there. Maybe it might actually influence, uh, affect his striking ability. But so far, absolutely, absolutely, Munir is definitely uh, having the edge over this game. What would your advice be for Dell in this situation there, Jackson? Um, it's, a, it's difficult to see. I mean, Anas seems to be getting the better of him in most situations. He's listening to his corner perfectly. He's listening to, to uh, Aaron Nesbitt's instructions for the keep the distance, work slower, use the hands better. Um, Dell needs to keep his hands up, though. He's getting caught with a few left kicks and... Uh, not to be walking back as much, you can't get power from your strikes as much as you can go forward, obviously. So he has to push forward a little bit more, does Dell? Yep, yeah, he needs to be a bit more aggressive. This may be why he does it. Last round, he... And here we are, third and final round in this middleweight title bout. Again, you know, Dell's just taking the outside of the ring and, you know, Munir's taking the center and just slowly closing in on him. Yeah, he's letting Anaz dictate the pace here. Going for the clinch. In his last fight, he was very successful in the clinch. Um, he's going for a German guillotine here, but Anaz is, I'm sure he's a blue belt. He's been in this situation countless times. I know he's, a, he's a gold medalist in some BGJ competitions. Excellent snapper once again in those kicks. And that's just going high, low, left, right. Mixing it up really well. Oh, slip by Nas. He does have some, really good little, have some really good little uh, uh, clinch control, does Munir, you know? Yep. He's, he's able to stop the, the, the takedowns with the symbol on the hook, you know? He'll still back over the ease. He's got a good team position here. He's not putting much effort in. He knows he hasn't got it properly on yet. the half for the fly guard and let's it go this is the first time this has been properly on the floor let's see what we can do with this thing this time you know i mean obviously as we both know the, the dungeon actually has is in class presenting jiu-jitsu you know they've, uh, they've spawned the likes of you know phil de Vries, who's currently uh supremacy fc he's, he's one of the time. top top ranked heavyweights in the uk so it'd be, it'd be interesting to see what this guy can do on the ground from now you know we haven't seen that much of his work uh, over his uh of, uh, over his career and Nas seems to be stalling to try and keep it to get it back to the feet you know he's, still, he's quite calm and collected actually there seems to be blood on, uh, a blood on his uh, on, on, on his ribs there which might be coming from Dell himself this is coming from Dell's eyebrow I think here and Nas needs to be careful of that neck gets an awesome trip he got that earlier definitely scoring some uh, a nice point there with the judges himself and now they're gonna have it standing up there oh awesome knee awesome Lovely right knee there Cortell coming flush uh i caught him right when he was coming in for a takedown as well uh, and as is from a spectator point of view completely anti-bjj anti-groundwork i mean that's their call for rolling knee bar that was a smooth move that but and as his kneecaps are he's fine now he won't be able to secure Let's back up. Dell's got a single leg, and now it's his right, pushes his head down, gets under hook of the arm. It's a nice.